Okay, so hear me out. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Shuttle Bunny, and welcome back to another reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to Bruce Do Mean Old Lady by Bruce Do Films. Now, it has been a while since I've reacted to a Bruce Do video, um, but they just posted another one, so time for another Bruce Do reaction. Now, I don't really know what this one could be about. Um, I'm guessing it's about a mean old lady, as the title suggests. Um, the like ratio looks pretty good. Um, so, hopefully this will be really funny. Okay, without further ado, originally guys, just hello, go subscribe to Bruce Do Films, and let's get to reacting. Alright, now I think it's safe to say that when you're a kid, there were certain houses in your neighborhood that you would tend to stay away from. I mean, everybody knew where the neighborhood pervert was on the block, after all. Hey, you guys wanna come and- I know where mine is on my neighborhood. Inside my house so I can take pictures of your feet? But for me, personally, I was always more worried about the old lady that lived across the street from me. Because this old lady was mean as hell. And she was notorious for yelling at anybody that walked past her house. Get off my property, you little Um, I'm on the sidewalk. What the hell do you want me to do? Walk in the middle of the street? Ah! 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 Even Oh, that's not. <laughs> she does, she doesn't sound like she's a good lady. She doesn't she doesn't, she doesn't she doesn't sound like the nice lady that gives out candy. And if you were in your own front yard, minding your own business, doing kid, she would sit on her front porch and stare at you and make you uncomfortable as hell. La di da da, I'm doing kid. Well, what the? Uh, ma'am, can I help you? She looks like a character from Five Nights at Freddy's, just staring at you and. Waiting for your neck. Wait, just waiting for you to do something wrong so she can come at you and bite your face off. Mm. Uh, hello? <laughs> this is really uncomfortable. Goodbye. <laughs> um, there's some old lady staring at me like she's Blair Witch. Can I just play inside? Listen, I don't care if it's John Wayne Gacy out there staring at you. You get your <laughs> there and you play outside. And if that wasn't bad enough, she had this big cat that would stare at us as well. And when I say this cat was big, I mean this thing was like the size of a goddamn third grader. I could eat a baby if I want, I don't give a damn. No, that's... <clears throat> that's not good. It was an outdoors cat. It would just roam around the neighborhood, catch people off guard when they're walking down the street. Oh, what the hell is that? A Kodiak brown bear? Kids, run for your lives! There's a Kodiak brown bear roaming the streets. Yes, that that is a Kodiak brown bear. So naturally, this mean old lady and her fat cat gained quite the reputation amongst us kids. We'd be making up urban legends and sh I heard she chops up kids with a chainsaw and feeds them to that fat of hers. Oh my god, she's making kids into cat food? What the f I do about this. Now the worst part about this old lady was that every time we played wiffle ball out in the street, it always seemed like the goddamn ball would always end up over a fence and into her backyard. I don't know what it was, but it happened. All Why do I feel like that's that that happens at every every like house you don't like? Like if you're a kid and you're playing like some kind of like ball game, you hit the ball and it always goes in their yard. Never in anybody else's. Never in the friendly, you know, neighbor yard. Where they'll be, you go up to their door and you guys like, oh, can I get my ball? And they'll be like, yeah, sure. You got, it always has to go in their yard. It's it's like it's like God hates you when that happens. All the time. Like there was a fucking gravitational pull in her backyard that would suck up wiffle balls left and right. One time my friend Michael tried to climb her fence to get a ball back, and that damn old lady tore him a new asshole. Get off my fence, you piss stain! Don't make me sick my fat ass cat on you! Like it comes walking back. You already kinda did that. <laughs> Act trying to play it off like he wasn't terrified the whole time. Man, that old lady's lucky I didn't walk up there and push her old. Oh, he he pissed himself. Pass over. Uh, yeah, Michael, you know there's piss all over the front of your pants, right? There's what? Ah, oh, god damn it! So needless to say, the unspoken rule was any wiffle ball that went in her backyard stayed in her backyard. And the only time we didn't follow that rule was when I lost my sweet sweet vortex football over there. You see, if you're not aware, vortex footballs were a big deal in the 90s. I mean, it's a football shaped like a fucking nuclear weapon for Christ's sake. It's got whistles on the side. John Elway did all the commercials for him. Hi, I'm John Elway, and I can throw this motherfucker into the stratosphere if I wanted to. So of course one day the unthinkable happens. I'm gonna kick the football. Don't kick the football, Michael. Kick it? Don't kick it, goddammit. All right, I'm kicking it. And sure as hell, my vortex goes straight into that mean old lady's backyard. Oh my God, Michael, what have you done? I don't care if your ass is getting chainsawed in half or not. You're getting your ass over that fence and you're getting that goddamn vortex football. So Michael approaches the house, knowing his chances of survival are about as good as his shitty kicking abilities. That fat ass cat sitting on the porch, licking his lips and shit. Ooh, looks like I got me a baby to eat. Somehow Michael gets behind the fence undetected. We're all just standing there, just waiting to hear the sound of a child getting murdered by a chainsaw. Hey Michael, make sure you throw the vortex before you get your head chopped off, okay? I'm over there praying to John Elway and shit. Please, John Elway. 
Elway? Please deliver Michael's misguided ass to my Vortex football. Yeah, you don't want to lose your your, your Vortex football. That's, that wouldn't be a good thing to lose. He's willing to die for it, or at least he should be since he kicks like a fucking girl. It's like five minutes go by and we're starting to lose hope. Well, I think... He's dead. She killed her. She, or she killed him. He's dead. 100%. 100%. It's safe to say Michael's dead. You guys want to go inside and play Sega Genesis? But then out of nowhere, somehow, Michael fucking gets this Vortex football back. I did it! I got the Vortex! And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Michael got his fucking head chopped off. Oh my god, what the hell? What? Hold oh. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. All right, all right, no, that didn't happen. In fact, nothing happened. All right, just, I, I, I was a little, a little concerned for a second. In that day. We got the football, we got the hell out of there. And you know why nothing happened? Well, because that old lady fucking died a couple weeks before that. I know that's a shitty ending, but we didn't know it at the time, so it was- Oh. Oh, oh, okay. It's a big win for us. I mean, we got the Vortex football back. I had a couple of wiffle balls on top of it. It wasn't until we seen that her house was up for sale a couple weeks later that we began to piece things together. But even after that mean old lady was gone, her fat ass can't remain. And he'd still watch us all the goddamn time, licking his lips and shit. One of these days, little babies. I'm gonna eat you one of these days. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if I were to rate this, this was a... This is solid. I'll give it... Ooh. 8.5 out of 10. It was pretty good. Like I said, the like ratio was pretty good, so I was expecting it to be really good. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, but only if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Comment down below, what did you think about this video? Um, I would love to know. Follow me on everything Shuttle Bunny. Um, originally, I asked you low. Go subscribe to Bruce 2 Films. Um, I'll leave their Patreon as well in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>